So what do you enjoy most about this work, Susan? About spontaneous painting? Yes. I love watching people come in to the class and they say, you know what, I'm not go going to talk about my emotions and give me directions and tell me what to do. And, and I say to them, no, you know, just um, we're going to do a, a little warm-up exercise here and it could be a meditation, it could be a movement, it could be a guided fantasy and they just relax their rational thinking and their inner critic and they go into a painting without knowing anything that they're going to put on the canvas. So you're really in that sense teaching how to surrender, how to surrender the thinking mind and go into a state of being. And then over the course of very few sessions, people really get into painting and they, a lot of people discover that they love to paint and some people even have a lot of talent that they didn't even know about because they've just never done it since they were kids. And then you watch, you know, it, it's like this for most people's painting series. First comes, like I said, anger and, you know, all kinds of sort of, um, I don't like to use the word negative, but uh, say life life emotions that that are are against life coming forth and and heal and health and those emotions come out first and then you watch how that transforms in painting by painting step by step until they start painting light and, and channeling light and they express it all in different ways but the theme is the same and and you watch them discovering their authentic self being born and they start to say know why aren't I living my life for me and why am I always so living in this black box and painting all of these black lines all the time and I'm inside this black box and then and and they start questioning this so you're really watching the authentic self being born it's it's just so beautiful to watch people come into connection with the authentic self. Susan how did you come to spontaneous painting? I, I was uh, I started as a painter and I was copying external reality and I came to the point where I thought that, you know, I, I was just bored copying and I was searching for a new painting style and I didn't know what to do and I just decided I would let whatever wanted to come out to come out and I the weirdest, bizarrest images started to come out. I painted really big too. And so I didn't understand what all of these paintings meant and I started studying Jung and symbols and that led me into a doctoral program to understand the deeper meaning of symbols through my own paintings to, to try to understand my own my own unconscious and that journey and that you know the symbols really direct our destiny there there's such a strong energy when you connect to the creative drive and you're working you know with this powerful force of the creative drive I mean that's the force of life and it's very strong and it really directs, it can direct your life. And so I, I started researching all of these things, but at the time that I was doing it in 1988, I, I was living in Brazil and nobody was really doing this. And so I was really a lot on my own, but I had excellent advisors. And <clears throat> I went to Union Institute. I had Stan Krippner and Jose Arguelles and John Weir Perry as my advisors, and they really supported me in going into this mystery, mysterious realm of the unknown and just using my own paintings and my, my intuitive knowing and staying with the creative process and not knowing what was happening and not giving up. And then I started teaching it to others, and we started, and a lot of times, you know, it was a lot of experimenting. I, I called all the people that I, um, I was living in Brazil at the time, and so my students were mostly small groups of women, eight to ten women. I called them my co-researchers. We would experiment with different pre-painting exercises. They would give me feedback. We would watch you know, different symbols coming out of their paintings and notice that some symbols, you know, had the life forward movement in them. They were like yellow swirling circles. They were different than other than other images. And, and one woman said, yeah, we should call this the new nucleus. These kind of symbols that bring forth a new life. The, the um, you know, the hidden life in the unconscious. And so that name stuck. And to this day, we call it the new nucleus. And so now, I mean, I've been doing 22 years and the process is pretty much uh, it developed and uh, 
in my stage my development now my next stage is to train facilitators in the method and to get <clears throat> people to start using it and, and, and practicing it locally and globally and just turning everybody on to the fact that they are spontaneous painters and I think that we could really um, affect consciousness this way and people this is like something really new and people just haven't understood yet that this is a, such um, a practical, innate, and reliable method to to get everybody involved. And it, you know, a lot of a lot of um, new techniques, like all of the energy techniques. You know, maybe they've been happening for 20 years now, and they're really starting to catch on now as slowly. So it takes time for new ideas to be born. So I'm really grateful to Iseen for inviting me here and for having the um, intuitive foresight to welcome in new ideas relating to healing. How would you encourage someone interested in spontaneous painting to start? Where, where would I start? Well, you know, I think it's best to really start with somebody first because there's a lot of kind of new ways of thinking and it's always good when you're starting something to be protected in an emotionally safe environment and to get the hang of it. And then once you do, then you go out on your own and you do it by yourself. But you know, it's like anything new, Don't, like driving a car or something before you go out. Wouldn't you like a couple of lessons first in how to drive? <laughs> so they would call you, they could contact you and your facilitators? Oh yeah, they could contact me at my website, uh, www.spontaneouspainting.com and on the website, my email address, Bello at gmail.com is there and different different um, ways that they can get in touch with me yeah thank you